Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a beauty favorites and fails. I'm not sure if I've ever done a video like this, but I'm really excited because I have quite a collection of products. I'm going to start off with mascaras. I have four of them to share with you guys. This first one is L'Oreal Voluminous, and I used to use this a long time ago. I had a backup, so I decided to try it again. And unfortunately, I don't like it anymore. I find that it's not as voluminous as I want it to be. It doesn't give the right effect. I like a very fluttery lash. Maybe my style of mascara has just changed and that's why. I love the brush, so that's why I wanted to try it out again. I do use this on my lower lashes sometimes, but on my top lashes, I can no longer do it. Going over to some more high-end mascaras, I have, well, I don't know if it's high-end. It's Milk Kush Mascara and this one, I didn't like at first. It's not very lengthening. It does give a very full fluffy look, but it's not as dramatic as I want it to be. The next one, I feel like we're going up in price, but the next two might be neck and neck. So this is the Pat McGrath Labs Fetish Eyes Mascara, and I think I got this with points. I was so excited about this because I don't have any Pat McGrath products, so the end is not tapered at all, and there's a lot of product on the end of the spoolie every single time that I pull it out. And this just puts on little clumps on my lashes. I don't like that. I like a very wispy lash and I can like build it up to make them a little bit thicker if I want. However, it is very lengthening and it does make the base of your lashes look very thick. So that's nice but I think it's just difficult to work with and I really am sad that I don't like it because I was really excited to try it. And the last mascara I've had in my little backup drawer, by the way, I know three of these are minis. This is the Lancome Monsieur Big, I believe. I don't know, I'm not very good at French. And this I've used before. This is a huge brush. Like look in comparison to my eye, it's very big. But this is so easy to work with. I'm wearing it right now and um, I like that when you take it out, there isn't a lot of product on the brush. So it makes it very easy to work with. It doesn't clump it on. I can manipulate the lashes, make them look how I want. I just really like this mascara and I have another mini in my little backup. So I won't have to buy mascara for a while, which is great. The next thing is another love or favorite and it is the Makeup by Mario. Master Mats, I believe it's called. I just forget the name of everything. When I got this, I was going to make a video about it. I might have even done it and deleted it, but I was trying to replace my Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette. I'm not sure if I mentioned that or if you heard. And I figured this would be a great palette because that palette really was my neutrals palette, my go-to neutrals palette. And I wanted a palette that had everything I needed and it pretty much does, minus a couple shades. Now that I have it, I do think that some of the reds are a bit redundant, but it's fine, like these two. But overall, I love it. I love the size, and I have it on right now. They're very creamy. There's not a lot of kickback, so I really enjoy this type of formula. The next product, unfortunately, I don't have with me because I returned it. It did not work out. It is the Supergoop CC Screen 100% Mineral CC Cream. I was really excited to try this product because I currently use Supergoop's Zinc Screen, which I do like. It does have a bit of a cast, like when I put it on my forehead, because my forehead does get tan and it stays quite tan. So that is one thing that I don't like about it. Even if I wear just that, I still feel the need to put bronzer up here or else I won't want to put the sunscreen. I had to return it because it just did not work for my skin. I would put it on and within a couple of hours, my chin just turned into a mess. The texture of my skin was accentuated. I could go like this and wipe it away and it was just very obvious so I could not do it. I wanted to love this because of the coverage. It had medium coverage and I could apply it with my fingers which is what I love to do with these types of products and it did have coverage but it's still not a product that I could wear by itself because of my again tan forehead. So it's gone and 
and quite sad about it, but I'm really happy that I got my money back because there was no way for me to make it work. Next up, I have a love, and this is the Huda Beauty Khaki Haze Palette. I saw this and I immediately had to have it because it just looked like autumn, and I did mention this in a vlog. So this is my third Huda Beauty palette. I have two other ones of this size, and I love the tones, how they're kind of muted, and they have these really um, shimmery, colors in here. It reminds me of a bunch of palettes mixed together. It reminds me of the Naked Heat, the Chocolate Bar palette. Um, I think that that is all it reminds me of. I really like Cutie Beauty's palettes, her formula. Um, this just gives me such beautiful feelings when I look at it because of the colorways. It's just very, very me. The next product that I really fell in love with, I also don't have with me because it is lost in my house. I don't know where it is. It's the Tower 28 Lip Gloss in the shade, not coconut, I think it's coconut. I don't know, it's the pink one. And I really had to try these out because I've been seeing them, people trying them, I had to know, and I don't really have a clear lip gloss, so that was the one I decided to go with. And it actually accentuates the pink in my lips. I find that some colors like just make my lips look weird if they have a slight brown tone, which is why the original Fenty Gloss Balm was just not for me, but Fussy was. So I love that. I'm really sad that I don't have it with me because I would love to wear right now. Um, I'm actually wearing something that's also new. It's the Sugar Fresh Honey Lip Balm, and I got like a little set from Sephora with like five of them. And this is a beautiful nude shade. I do recommend this, it's very, very good. The last two things I have to share with you guys are tools, and I decided to get some tools because I went through all my makeup brushes and I got rid of a bunch of them. They were just very old, very scratchy, and I had a bunch of ones that I've gotten for free in little subscription boxes, and I thought that it was time to just really declutter and get rid of them. I don't even think they were good for other people and I don't really have people to give makeup brushes to. So I decided to get the Rare Beauty Foundation and Concealer brushes because I found that these were holes in my um, tool arsenal. I keep using that word, but I feel like it's kind of weird. So with that declutter, I found that I did not have a very dense, small brush like this, and I do like it. I love the color also. That is why I don't really buy tools, because I want them to be beautiful to look at, yet very practical for what I need. So this is actually my only foundation brush that is out right now, and the concealer brush is perfect. I decided to just get the matching one because I really do like the shape of this. I was actually using one of my wand brushes. It is this one and as you can see the shape is very similar. It's kind of angled and fluffy and I liked using this for concealer but this is just a bit too fluffy for me so that's why I decided to get this one. It's very dense and I really like it. Perfect for getting all up in there. And also they're synthetic, which is what I love. Most of my brushes are synthetic, especially for the face. Those are all the products that I wanted to share with you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and thought that it was just relaxing to watch. I just love watching these types of videos and I thought that I would share my thoughts on a bunch of things that I've been testing out. So if you liked the video, please hit the thumbs up button and let me know a product favorite of yours. I'd love to hear in case you guys are trying out new things. I'm sure you are if you love makeup like I do. So that is it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a magical day and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.